played uh, state football, touch rugby, and soccer. So she's uh, kind of pretty, pretty good in regard to. Um, Mine's a pain as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, she is my older sister, so she tells me what to do quite often. Is, <laughs> as you would understand, something is a little unusual for me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have a, a great. Uh, Deal of love for each other, given the fact that uh, she's a school teacher as well. She's got a master's in psychology. All the time, she's uh, looking to improve and find new things. Uh, she is here to help us. Uh, she will be available through the year, uh, through WhatsApp or phone or email, or she's probably coming back one or two more times. But the idea is to have a connection to say, "Gee, I'm stuck now." In the scheme of uh, psychology, there's psychologists and there's uh, uh, psychology to do with um, organisations and teams and how that works. She, she best is in regard to making you a better, better football, that's the fact. So our mental health thing is not the number one thing she's into. She's into saying, okay, how are you feeling? Uh, that's how you're playing, let's make it better. And uh, you know, from half of you at least would be thinking, well, I'm, I'm thinking everyone wants to be a bit better. Um, I'm feeling down about this. Um, how come I get so many injuries? All of these things are, are a lot to do with uh, psychology. And on the other side, her husband's um, a sports doctor. He's um, majors in uh, psych, uh, in um, hypnotherapy and um, acupuncture as well. So uh, he works with GWS when they come to town. Uh, so, uh, anything in the next whatever, if you need any uh, discussion on anything you've got, he, he's certainly here to uh, chat. She works with the uh, Adelaide uh, Crows girls uh, playing down in Geelong this weekend. That's a real reason why we're on this weekend, so that she's here uh, for this. Uh, she'll be here tomorrow going through those uh, things that you filled out. Uh, welcome, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> I really don't like to bore people. I, honestly, when Mark said, you know, the mental health stuff, I'm actually all about making sure that the three areas that we actually um, worry about in our lives are really important. And normally I have one of those, um, has anyone seen those expanding uh, pool sort of things that go from smaller to bigger? Well, the whole idea, and won't well, spend a long time, but first of all, I'm going to go back to this. Being wrong, having a discussion, working things out, being prepared to make an opinion is going to make you different and it's going to make you better. So, three areas. Yourself, who you surround. If you are a captain, not only are you got yourself to worry about, but you're also worrying about what's happening to everyone else that you're dealing with. You can make them bigger or smaller. And the same with the coaches. They can do that, the board. And last of all, there's all this social stuff. Um, this is my highlight tag. Uh, I'll show you about 20, 30 seconds of it. But who in here has a highlight tag for themselves? Excellent. If you do and you are not feeling good, one of the biggest things we know is first of all, add to it, but also watch it again. See when you were feeling good. See when you felt like you were a god. You could mark it. For me, see when you feel like you were young. See when you feel like you had a good muscle right down the front of the leg. There was things like that. In other words, what happens is it doesn't matter who it is, and at some point in your lines, you almost need to have a highlight tab of your group. And getting people to do that because how you feel. This one? Okay, that's right. Um, how you feel about yourself. And when I did my highlight tag, can you. Uh, who said they've got a highlight tag? Music? What music did you put it to? Uh, Choco put it to music. So. Choco put it to music. Um, Choco's driven. I'm driven, which means we're actually going to be the ones that go, oh, yeah, let's get this done. But in the long run, I noticed with the ad, your guys and those, everyone goes, oh, they'll do it for me. One of the biggest things is when you spend time putting your best stuff together and, and you put it and then you pick a piece of music, you are actually telling your brain, ah, look at me. Look at the things that matter to me. Ah, this piece of music actually makes me feel really good. So on my heart, take the music says days to minutes and minutes to memories. Life slips away the dreams you have planned. You are young and you are the future. So suck it up, tough it out, and be the best you can. Pretty good song. John Mellencamp came out in the 80s and I was the younger person then. Now I'm the old person saying the same thing. But 
Honestly, what you listen to determines a lot of how you feel about things. So, today, nine things. I had eight things, but you've got nine, because I actually want to make sure. Nine things that will make your life harder if you don't know about them, or nine things towards being, having a great life and a great performance. So, here we go. Talent knowledge. So, when I go back to that one, where my thing is talent knowledge. Knowledge is actually knowing stuff that other people don't know, so you get better. What are we going to learn? We're going to get an edge from Kevin's idea. Kevin is an old psychologist who won the Nobel Prize for actually for economics, for showing that everyone does what sheep. You're all like sheep. You do what you're told, you do this, you follow things, you go on the internet, someone has a good idea and everyone passes it on. How many people check what they actually pass on on the internet? The answer is very few. Most actually just do that. Kevin talks about funny experts. For goodness sake, if you find average, you, the most you will be is average. If you find an expert, you can get better quickly. Uh, thinking slow. We talked about two ways that you can think. Fast, fast judgment. Jenny, what was she know? Woman stand up front? That could be a very normal thought for a lot of people. Then other people thinking slowly might go, oh, well, what are the qualifications? How many great knowledge does she play there? Why would she maybe have done a psychology degree and actually questioned a lot of the things? Maybe because a lot of the things they said is very average. Because a lot of times people never get to ask champions what they think about things. Rules of the universe. Hmm, FP, what is that? Regression to the mean, flow, being amazing, mastery and bill curves. These are all things today that we're going to go through them. All of a sudden you're going to be, look out of here, 5% better, I promise. Just by knowledge. So this is Kahneman's stuff, it's psychology. And he talks about two ways of thinking. Fast thinking is this. What you see is all the words. Overemphasize that we know everything, and most of all, it's most often used. So here's the thing. The blue is the world. And I ask you a question. All you know is the little grey, I'm oh, sorry, the little orange and green bit. So that's where you come up with the answer. So the answer is actually the left bit.
Oh, you even got the red hat on. Who <laughs> <laughs> so in here is more anxious when they go over the top? All right, it's really worth going to start to understand, which is you. And what are we going to do about it quickly? So, that's what it looks like. Boredom, if you're bored, not switched on, sluggish, all of that. In the middle, you can think and act, and at the top, pass heart, drive down, all of that. So, this is what it looks like. Actually, a joke when we were doing it. So again, this is all you, not only personally, 
But also as leaders, you've got to think about what if? What if the umpire is cheating? Could happen. The answer is you can't get annoyed about it, or you can't get out there and do system one yelling at the umpire. We have been known to do a few of these on the field just to go, yep, okay, making the asshole symbol, and we're doing this, but it's stopping everyone from getting annoyed because we're on the in joke and everyone else is just laughing to the table. So the whole idea is we're going to keep you all in the flow zone. And if getting annoyed at an umpire is setting you over the top, you've got to learn how to deal with it without going over the top to begin. In women's, if you give away a 50 bit of penalty, you've given away three kicks. Honestly, I sit there and I watch it and I go, the 50 metres is longer than the ball's just gone for the last three times. So again, they can't afford to give away, they can't afford to give away a penalty. And you guys, a 50 metre in a game can be a really big deal when it is. So you have to understand, stay in the flow zone and you can actually, uh, you can, in your head, be said anything, but you cannot lose your control out there because you lose games because of it. What ifs? Who's going to help you? Who's your expert? Oh, by the way, who's your binge buddy? Everyone in a team needs someone to winch to. <coughs> Just every now and then. Who you want to winch to? Whatever. It goes between you two or whoever it is. You don't tell everyone else. You don't have giant winch sessions. If you have a session, it's about how do we get better at stuff. But every now and then you need a buddy just to go, who likes this? Whatever you're talking about. Really important, maybe your partner at home. That's okay. But everyone in the world needs someone just to actually make them have to have listened to. All right? Uh, prepare possible ideas, think differently. So, challenging your life, also family situations, uh, what if someone gets sick? Because people think that challenge on the end is all about footy. What about if the challenge is because someone's gotten sick in your family? What if the challenge is if you're a tiger and your partner is an eagle? Money issues can make a difference. Pets can make a difference. Friends, you can't eat from care. You can't get there. Love life's going bad. What if I feel like crap? All of that adds to the challenge. Do we see it's not just football that adds to the challenge? So in other words, someone can turn up and they can look great, but something could have gone wrong at home. And that's where, as the captains, you need to know people and you need to know what they're looking like and whether they're actually... And it's also going to be a relationship that if something's really gone wrong, you can fight in them. So they can go, no worries, mate, we're going to get through the game, you're going to be brilliant today, and we'll talk about it afterwards. I'll help you fix it. Or I'll take you out for coffee tomorrow, but you need to do all of that. So, here's some of the things we're going to learn. Boredom, music, yes. Fun, yes. Coffees. Why does coffee overcome boredom? Because it increases your heart rate again. Uh, competition increases heart rate, also makes it more fun. And by the way, I have been sitting in the front row for a really boring talk. If you get like that, it pitch yourself really hard. Because pain also puts your heart rate up into that zone. Here, thinking can direct others, can talk into the dance zone. Have a look at people before games. And I watch people getting into a frenzy. You cannot be in a frenzy. You've got to be feeling like you're out there ready to go. Don't be oh, over the top. You take too many eels with you. And if you're a digger like me, and if I'm going, wow, this is looking like it's, it's exhausting me, who's a digger in here? Anyone actually think you're a digger most of the time? If you feel like all marks are exhausting you and you're a digger, you need to tell someone because they'll be exhausting everyone else. All right? If tiggers feel like, wow, this is actually gone too fast, it's a real indication. And I've seen sports science guys who get everyone, ah! That's why I don't mind like attacking this up because it's actually really using a lot of energy up, but it's not high like noise, not like a cauldron going everywhere. Um, over the top, I'm going to show you the centering breath in a sec. Music again, preparation. Preparation is the number one key. Make sure you are doing the technical, physical, all of that stuff. Uh, who gets drum out for games? What can we do about it, Matt Any idea? Uh, I was in preparation for the Ah. Busy lemon squash, busy something that is sour or that in your mouth. Because when you are, just just try this for me. Let's see who's highly visual here for me. Make out your lemon in your left hand. Make out. Okay, think about that lemon. Have a look at it. Check it out. Okay. It weighs, it's heavy. 
It's yellow, it's waxy, it's actually a strange shaped lemon, but yeah, you can you can hold it. I want you to put it down just on your knee. Don't take your knee, have it in half. Have it in half, pick up half, put it in front of your face. Smell it. It is a really, really, really sour, really, really juicy lemon. Smell it, smell it. Very lemony. Now put it down on your leg, cut it in the quarter. Pick up that quarter, Paul. I want you to pick up that quarter and look at it. It is yellow, it is juicy, it is really, really sour. Now I want you to open your mouth and I want to put in your mouth, please, and bite down on that really, really sour. It is so sour, that lemon. It is really, really bad. Is there anyone in here who can actually make their mouth water doing that? Very good, you're highly visual. All right, if you were like that, I could never do that before, but I've practiced it enough now that if I say the word lemon, I can make my mouth water. What we know is, if you take a little bit of a can of Coke, lemon squash, anything fizzy, and you put it in your mouth, it actually tells your head that you're actually feeling better. So it goes the other way around. So when your head's telling your mouth it's feeling shitty, it takes all the shit away. When you put fizzy stuff, and if you take it off in a plane where you've got nothing else, one of those little sours works quite well too, because it makes you go, oh, which straight away puts spit in your mouth, and spit in your mouth tells your head you're starting to feel a bit better. Next thing you do with it is a little few little pebbles, two little bounces. Put some music on, and I want it to be in that zone, and you're going to sing it as you're doing that, so you're all in your head. Do that, have that, and what you notice is you'll start to bring your heart rate down, along with doing the vision. One excuse, two new plans, and a heart rate monitor. So let's quickly go for this one. Do we remember how to do this? A few people practiced it last year. I'm really <coughs> hoping you practice it. You need to be a god of your heart rate. So in other words, even going for an operation. If you go for an operation and you are nervous beforehand, your chances of the anesthetic and everything taking, um, your chances of, they say, if you go in calm, come out a lot better from the off. So I would like you to get really good at this because being in charge of your heart rate lets you be in charge of anything. So this is in two, three, four, five, six, hold two, out two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, ready? And in two, three, four, five, six, hold two, out two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, in two, three, four, five, six, hold two, out two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got biathlon on up there. Biathlon is cross country skiing and then shooting. Cross country skiing, heart rate. Shooting, heart rate. So they need to actually know how to do this. You guys need to be able to do this because this is the key. When you are anxious or angry, you bring it down. If you, I don't know what, what's the uh, chill out station in Melbourne now that is cruise that is where you If you are angry, if you are angry or anxious on the way to the game, put on smooth and never for me. Get used to understanding how to chill. Uh, if you suffer from road rage, you do not, by the way, if you are angry, or you are sad, you cannot listen to sad or angry music. It just fuels your head. So if you're sad, you need to have a happy set of music. If you're angry, you need to have a calm set of music. So in other words, your head will take control of you unless you start to control that. And just in going with that, I normally, very quickly, up and down on your chair 10 times, go, go, in the, oh, oh. Okay, let's go. Ready? Right, you might have to do a little breath in between, but let's go. Let's do this. And in two, three, four, five, six, hold two, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need you at practice. So if you're a captain, if you're in the leadership group, write this down. At some stage before you hit the goal, go and do a bit of a run. Then when you do the run, you are actually going to stop and before people kick, do the breath, bring it down. You need to practice this yourself. So anytime 
And I want you to pair up with someone during the next two weeks where you both go for a run, you put what your resting heart rate is, work it out what it is, however you do, the heart rate monitor is easier, but work it out, then you're going to go for a bit of a run, then you're going to stop, and it's the first one to get down to their resting heart rate. All right, because you're going to compete and be calm. You're going to compete so that you get used to, when it starts happening to you, you go, I've got this under control, I know how to bring this down, doesn't matter whenever it is. And by the way, um, when you're actually doing, when you're doing for a run, it might be in, two, three, four, five, you, you do need to actually not kill yourself trying to hold your breath to get there, all right? So just doing that. Um, Mark's been putting these up around the wall. They're really important for your home too, what do you put up there? Um, and this one we're doing tomorrow. This is what we're actually looking at. These are the characteristics of champions. So we actually need to know which one of those are you and how do we get there. Um, so doing that, we're going to talk about what are the characteristics of being made of gold, and Mark's put all those on there. And I'll look more at those tomorrow. So we looked at what it looks like in the game, things we can do differently, and then what you're going to do individually to build yours. So we're going to actually try and really help each one of you be better at whatever it is you want to be good at. And Thank you. 
All right, that goes on for a long time. All right, now here's the whole thing is she's a tigger. If she'd been an eagle, that she's probably not going back on. Regression to the man when she went back on, she goes really quite well. All right, but the whole thing is what would does anyone in here have any idea what I would have judged done slightly differently to have had the outcome that you wanted? To have? Yeah, but remember, he's not saying bad stuff to her, is he? But in the long run, when you say she's doing nothing positive, she's a really good player. What? How would you? Now, you got to understand that some of you are going to be leaders out there, and others of you are going to be, every one of you is going to work out, how do we get you to play better? What was she telling him is going to make her play better? All right, so what he was saying was right, but all he needed to do was put his arm around her and say, you're a bloody good player, I love having you on my team, but I need you to shorten up your lead. And Shani Layton, who is one of my really good mates, wrote of, you don't always have time to give a positive. I'm sorry, but a positive is just so people feel like they can get the information. And she was giving him a clue. Just give me a positive so I can hear what's happening. Because at the moment, she's remembering the World Cup. Things are going wrong, nothing's going there. The whole art of coaching is to get information into the player so we get better. And that's the whole art of captaining and everything else. So understanding how we're going to learn to do that will be important. And we'll do one of these tomorrow where you're going to actually, one of you's going to be a tigger, one of you's going to be a tiger, one of you's going to be an eeyore, and you're going to have to give each other a little bit of feedback and see how it feels in the different ways. Because in the long run, you've got to understand that care thing only works if people feel like they're supported. And for any team to be number one, they have to be cycle, it has to be a safe place. So in other words, he didn't he wasn't being nasty, horrible ranting, but she needed one thing, which was a touch, and a you're amazing, a lot of the team that you need to shorten the ladies. And I'm really glad to have you back today. You take much, did it? And I'm still saying it is, they had more time arguing than they actually did doing what they needed to. And the team's trying to go back on there, and the rest of the team are looking like this. I know this happens in elite levels, and I often in elite levels, some of the coaches that present as being really nice guys to the media are the biggest nasty pasties behind closed doors. So again, how do you act? As do you feel like you've learned a little bit about feedback and that for yourself and how things go? And that's where we're up to today. So we'll go on with this tomorrow. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a terrific session. Uh, you know, how many of you sit in a room for an hour and a half listening to psychology? It's probably once in your life. So I, I know this is testing. The rest of the day, we're doing other things. We're coming back to it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's speaking specifically about you. So you know, well, shit, I learned some stuff today. Tomorrow's exactly about you. So you kind of know where it's kind of fitting in. So uh, again, be prepared, be open-minded to it, and uh, keep learning. Uh, we're about five minutes behind, which is still fine. We're starting at 10 o'clock uh, over there. It's not a race to get there, but again, you need to be uh, all ready uh, to go now. Uh, Hamish, where are you? Oh, sorry, mate. All right, so we're